Hello. Today I wanted to demo an old um, Nucleonic Corp of America DM1D Geiger counter. I just kind of finished refurbishing, um, except that the old um, Geiger tube for the Alpha Beta Gamma probe here is dead and I need to get an expensive replacement. But in the meantime, I did manage to track down a probe from a CDV um, 700 Geiger counter with a nice beta shield. Uh, when it's open like this, beta particles are allowed to pass through. When it's closed like that, they are not. And I have a couple of samples that I wanted to test it against. Um, with my little mod here, which is just a couple of resistors um, soldered in, or connected in series with the anode on this guy. So the first thing I have is Vanden Brandite ore inside this lead pig. And it also has a uh, aluminum beta shield inside of it. So... You can see a little bit of gamma activity there, gamma x-ray. And we'll open up the shield, you'll see a little bit more on the outside. And then I'll go ahead and pull the beta shield out, the beta jar out. This is quarter inch, 99.9% uh, pure aluminum. So we're getting a lot more gamma beta there. Um, some of the betas that are emitted by the U238 decay chain aren't entirely blocked by this container. Um, there's a few others that we've tested that I might end up using instead of this one, but so you can see that's fairly hot. That's uh, naturally occurring uranium ore. That's pretty cool. This particular type just happens to be super concentrated. The next sample I will do is a piece of sort of like Fiesta Ware, but it's not really Fiesta Ware. So with the beta shield open, get quite a few counts. You close it. Not a whole lot. Yeah, getting a couple cans here or there. But you open it, you open the beta shield again and drop it inside. Oh, there's lots of activity. Pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, so this thing's uh, rehabbed and working, and all I have to do is replace the original tube with an equivalent. And I'll be able to detect alphas with this one as well. Awesome.